All right, here is the Volvo XC90. We are swapping with the Lexus. So Mark's driving his new car and we're gonna load this thing up on the trailer. On today's episode of Watch Jericho, we turn this Lexus into an SUV. What is going on guys? I am Watch Jargo and today I am here with my, I forget what year it is a lot, but it's actually a 2010 Lexus ES350. And in the last few videos, we've kind of gone through the thing. We put new glass in it, detailed it. Um, what else? Uh, rebuilt the nav unit. Um, I honestly kind of forget the stuff that we fixed on this car, but we did a lot of work to it. And now the bumper is fixed. It's actually still setting up. Ryan came in with a structural adhesive and put the bumper back together. So it'll actually never fail again there. And as soon as that's fully set up, it's ready to have the fog light and the uh, front grill piece stuck back in there. Of course, we cleaned up the headlights on it. And then the wheels, the wheels are next. The spares are painted. We talked about this. It would have cost a ton of money to switch the car to all spares, but the chrome had gotten so bad on this wheel that the air was just leaking out. It happens when the chrome completely fails. Actually, let's go look at it right now. So here's the uh, original wheel. Once you get into this like epic level of chrome failure here, where it's like peeling off of the wheel, uh, what happens is it gets in behind the bead and starts to fail there. And then it just leaks there permanently. So this wheel is at that stage where it's just completely worthless and leaking around the bead because of the chrome. It has a new tire like all the other tires that are on the car. So to fix it, we have a new wheel. It is finally here. Let's open this thing up. I haven't seen it yet, but oh man. I think it said this was used, but it's flawless. I don't see an issue on this. That is so chrome. Maybe it was refinished. Oh, you can see the inside the barrel is pretty dirty. That's definitely used. There's a little curb rash right there too, but that will not affect the bead. And I think that'll be just fine for this car. It kind of matches the other wheels, honestly. Not perfect, but they look right. We're all loaded up with the chromies and some new tires for a future project. Is this dude Lanny's helicopter in the middle of Derby? What the heck? He just brought the helicopter to Walmart. Yeah, man, he needs a monster. We're stopping. I think he's legit parking in that little tiny grass spot over there. This is incredible. Never in my life. <laughs> it's like a Robinson R44 kilo guy. He's shutting it down. Well, that's pretty legit either way. Uh, apparently somebody was saying that they might, <laughs> everyone's out here recording. They said they might own this strip mall and they had like a landing pad back there because there's a huge flat area right there. Rolling out of Walmart, got our new tire mounted up. Only took a few minutes. And the helicopter saga is, I don't know. I, it's not complete. We don't have any answers. They just came and got a huge stack of cones and put it around their helicopter. Oh, this is an R66, that's baller. Wow. I mean, first you assume because you know the Robinson body anywhere, but that 6.6 six looks a lot like 4.4 in the air. That's crazy. Super cool. Look who it is. The Robinson gang. the Lexus is loaded up. We've got it strapped down and we are ready to go pick up the new SUV. Hey, hey, that looks like the new car. Man, the size difference from a Lexus to that, it's huge. Pull up here, find some place we can unload. I think we might just go with the angle and uh, see what's up. 
All right, here is the Volvo XC90. We are swapping with the Lexus. So Mark's driving his new car and we're gonna load this thing up on the trailer. Oh man, this thing is clean inside. Guess what? It needs a windshield. As Soon as I get in, chip, chip, big old six inch crack. Why does everything need a windshield? Oh, <laughs> the tweeters just fell down when I opened the door. That's just chewing gum, I think. That's either a sticky tack from Walmart or chewing gum. But let's see if it runs for real. Here we go. First start. Hey! I thought I was gonna have to jump this because he told me it hadn't been moved in a couple years. Comes with a built-in privacy screen. That's very nice. I enjoy the headliner completely falling down. Uh, let's let's load this thing on the trailer. I don't I don't need to know anymore. It was the right deal. The tweeters are falling down again. Stay, stay there, st stay there. Wow, the shifter is broken. So we've got check engine, coolant low, stop engine, and one more that said, uh, oh, there's check coolant level, and then uh, regular maintenance due soon. And I think it might need more than regular maintenance, according to Mark here. Mark's telling me that it needs, uh, well, thanks for buying the Lexus. Well, yeah, thank you. And uh, you said it, well, the, somebody put water in it instead of coolant, basically. Yeah, and I let him drive it, and I think that it's overheated. You think? <laughs> Yeah. He, he thinks it's ended. He thinks it might be the freeze plugs. I think it might need an engine. Like it depends, like it could have cracked the block or something like that, but it's running really, really well. Yeah. So I guess uh, we'll just, we'll figure it out. Sweet. But uh, you said it's got new tires. Yep, new tires, new plugs. Uh, tires, lugs, tires, I think that's it. Okay, but still like that's a thousand dollars of tires because they yeah, are Goodyear new. Vivas. Yeah. Yeah, good. yeah. awesome. These tires do look good, and uh, it looks like a fun project because obviously I love Volvos, so it'll be be good for sure. Got a little PPF that needs removed. It's got some problems. It's been driven, so it's been set for a while. it has been set for for quite a while. Oh no, the tweeters fell down again. Does it have LED headlights? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they're uh, <clears throat> Amazon's finest. Amazon's finest. Yeah. Amazon Racing. <laughs> Amazon Racing. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, well, I'm gonna load this trailer up and tie this thing down. Will we get lucky twice? We are back at the warehouse with the Volvo. Ah. All right, let's hook the jump pack up to this dude. Hood struts work, that's amazing. And see if we can get it going. Yeah, it's got a jump terminal. I brought the jump pack, this works out. It was basically a free car though, you know what they say. When you're at a horse place, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. So, oh look, it's had a timing belt. This is awesome, actually. Got a timing belt in 19. This is this is a good car. All right, now we have a second jump pack. Let's try again. Yes. Live, live, Volvo. I know you want to. I think the air works. Premium sound, awesome. This is a sick car. All right, let's get it inside real quick. Let's see what we've gotten into now that we've got the Volvo home and the Lexus deal all wrapped up. This was sold here in Wichita used. I don't have the original window sticker, I don't think, but this is the used one at 40,000 miles. 04 Volvo XC90 T6, all wheel drive, six cylinder turbocharged engine, of course, in line six. And uh, this has, uh, like Mark said, I found all the receipts in the glove box for all new coils. It's coil and plug, all new uh, spark plugs, NGK, Radium IX, the right ones. Um, tons of O'Reilly's receipts in this thing. The battery is pretty old, it's from 16, and it does seem like it's never coming back. Um, there's not, not much here as far as, you know, I mean, it's a used window sticker. They probably didn't even know what they were dealing with or they didn't pull this thing correctly. But it's uh, premium audio, which is the step up, obviously. And uh, five passenger, I don't think it has the back seats. Let's take a gander at this here power plant. This is that T6. You can see there's uh, two different inputs into this thing. And that is because it is twin turboed. 268 horsepower, 280 foot pounds of torque. And uh, I mean, that's considerably more than most of the T5s. For what reason though? I mean, I get that it's all wheel drive, but it doesn't have a towing package or anything else. 
Um, it does have the math unplugged for some reason. That's kind of interesting there. And in general, it just looks like it was, it's, it's been rough for quite a while. Now, we're gonna get this thing sorted out, but first, let's go on a quick tour of the vehicle now that we've kind of checked out the engine that has a new timing belt. That's a huge plus. The timing belt was at 224,000 miles. It only has 250 on it now. So 30,000 miles on that timing belt. So here's the front end. Obviously the headlights looking a little bit rough, but hey, the front end is intact. Uh, it looks like the little skid plate there might have found a, I don't know, a rock or something or two because it's kind of pushed up, but no accident, uh, apparent accident damage or anything like that. Everything appears to be factory. The Volvo stamps are on all the fenders. And uh, I mean, the body does appear to be straight for the most part, other than door dings. There's a, a few door dings on this thing. Like Mark was telling us, we do have new Goodyear Viva 3s, which look like they're in pretty good shape. The hood and the hatch struts work. So that's huge already right there. That saves a, almost four minutes of my time. Uh, it has a very interesting tailgate, kind of like the BMW X5, a split tailgate with a hatch that goes up and then you lift this handle here and the tailgate comes down. While it's coming down, it gets a nice little slide. It's kind of the exact same mechanism the BMW X5 uses, which is kind of cool. Uh, they both have that sliding piece of plastic, so you've got a little tailgate where you can sit when you're hanging out at a game and kind of the perfect backrest too. Super nice. Uh, you can clearly see the headliner is done for. Mark was telling me that they went to go charge it and a gust of wind came in and pulled it down. So we are gonna have to fix a headliner on this because that is beyond usable. It's blocking the rearview mirror. Uh, the jack, all the tools are back there to get the tire changes done on the side of the road and our rallies receipts. So we've got a good start. Uh, like I said, premium audio on this thing. Check out the back seat. This is super interesting in here. Uh, there's a bunch more Amazon LEDs. I found some in the center console, some in the back, and there's boxes for the LED headlights. Quite a few LEDs in here, even though these all appear to be the incandescents. These are media controls, and there's a bunch of them. There's a headphone jack there, a headphone jack there, volume controls on both sides, and media controls for everybody right there as well, which is super interesting. Does this thing have five tuners or five source? I don't understand. Apparently everybody can pick a source, and there's four headphone jacks right here in the back. And there's another set right there, obviously, two more. I don't see how there could be another row. If this was a nine passenger, that many headphone jacks would make sense, but hey, it is what it is. There's a bunch of headphone jacks in here, a lot of media control. The rest of the back here, we've got a cigarette lighter, ashtray, cup holders that flip out, go back in. And apparently, I think the entire center console, oh yeah, the entire center console can come out and there's its power. That's cool. Very creative Volvo. So those are little spring-loaded pins and that's the 12 volt DC power into the console. To put it back, you just go like that and the console's back in place. That's pretty cool. Definitely one of the most interesting things I've seen on an XC90. The new ones are very, very different. This is the first generation, the second year. 03 is when it came out, 04 is what this is. So it is one of the early pre-facelift, like first XC90s in the US. Now, of course, uh, it's $120,000 cars and inscription with crystal shifters and some of the best tech in the entire game. This is old school, but still packs a lot of punch in its tech department, kind of like Volvo does. It's just low key tech. Here in the front, the door stay on the driver's side kind of works when it wants to. This is probably like a barcode. It is, but it's gone now. Water hit that. Uh, we've got the headlights right there. They're, I'm sure they're auto. There's the gauge dimming, uh, front fog light, rear fog light, gas, parking brake release. And then, you know, this is just a pretty typical Volvo setup with a nice dark walnut-ish, I think this is called the walnut interior steering wheel. So cruise, media controls, uh, wipers, all that good stuff. Everything's pretty normal there. The standard Volvo climate control of this era, it's in all of the P2s. I think this is maybe a P2 or, you know, born in the same generation as a P2. So it's basically all the same. The wheel, the climate, all of that, the buttons, they are the same. The center console here is very restyled with a nice light wood and uh, the silver shifter surround and the cup holders flip open like that, or they're supposed to, but now they, they do that. We've got Homelink, a sunroof, and, and that covers most of the features. But this thing does, it's kind of one of those cars that does everything you want without 
you know having a bunch of crazy stuff in your face it just all works memory seats though that's definitely a great option to have and uh, all the displays on the dash anyway we will dig into this more next time it looks like the passenger window is broken it looks like there's a lot of things that are broken but at the same time this is an suv that people want like you need to be able to move your family around so uh with a little elbow grease and a little bit of cleaning and calling the headliner guy uh, I think we'll go far with this XC90. And I know it runs really well. I mean, it started right up and ran great, drove on the trailer. And somebody at Volvo, when they were building this thing, was like, you know what this needs? We should call up GM, because we built this big twin turbo engine. We need it to hold a lot of power. They make good transmissions. So they put a 4T65 in this thing with a Haldex all-wheel drive system, basically the same as this transmission over here, the same transmission from the Aztec. That guy right there, that's what they wanted to use to make the Volvo last forever. Anyway, that's my new Volvo. Plenty more to discover. We're gonna dig into this thing in the next episode as we start fixing it and uh, hopefully make some good progress on it. I think I got a pretty good deal. I got all the money I wanted for that bike out of the Lexus and a free Volvo thrown in, so I mean, free Volvo, worked out great. Huge thanks to Mark for buying this thing. Huge thank you to you guys for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop, watchjrgo.com where you can get cool shirts, not like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. And I will talk to you next time. I am super excited about this. And I know you guys love Volvos too. And you know, good drivetrains, good design. So this should be a fun one. And I think it's gonna sell for quite a bit when I'm done getting it all back together. Also, I bought something like seven cars in the last week. Uh, I know you guys are worried about the, the video where I said things are down, but I sold the GTR and all seven of these cars cost far less. I'm actually making considerable money buying seven cars, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I know I bought the truck, and there's another one coming, and there's another one I bought months ago, and then there's this one, and uh, there's another one over there, and I know there's one more. I don't know, there's, there's a lot of them. But uh, we're basically changing the whole fleet to cheap cars again, uh, which is exactly what you guys wanted. So I, I know there's a lot of iBots coming, but don't worry, I've got a plan. Don't forget, this is exactly what you guys asked for. I bought a $2,500 KTM. I threw like $110 at it, and it became a Lexus, and I threw like, $400 at a Lexus and it became $4,500 and a free Volvo. Like this is the trade up special. We are trading like crazy right now.